Oh, baby. Hey, man. I'm excited. I know. I know. I know. Roadrunner Sports, I'm coming for you. I just got to find a parking spot here. All right, let's go inside. See what we can't find. See what we can't find. Tis the season. They were on my, oh my gosh, they, even really, they were on my radar. Um, run happy. Yep. I'm getting all sorts of uh, ads from Brooks on everywhere today. Yeah. Social media, on YouTube, Facebook. So I think they... They're really pumped about this shit. I think they know. <laughs> but anyway, it's like, it's pretty entertaining ads that they're pumping out. All right, it's it's Emmett, right? Yes. Helping me out at Roadrunner Sports. Thank you, Emmett, for no taking care of me. He uh, he made this happen, because anyway, I'll explain later. <laughs> Thank you, sir. Cool. Appreciate it. High five. All right. Yeah. <laughs> All right, man. All right. Enjoy Thank you. you. Yeah. Shout out to Emmett for making this purchase happen. Essentially, oh man, guys, like this shoe is very sought after and so they're having a launch party tonight but they sold it to me early. Oh man, they had to call the manager and everything to make it happen. Thank you, thank you, thank you. You've got a lifetime customer now. You've got a lifetime customer. I could not resist, guys. I could not resist. Thank you to everyone that is commenting right now on YouTube about which shoe I should purchase next and review for you guys. This is not that video, obviously, because you, right now, like my phone is blowing up because you guys are you guys are commenting and sharing so many amazing ideas for the next shoe to purchase. This Levitate 2 in the ugly sweater edition was on my radar. I've been wanting to buy the Levitate 2 sometime in 2018. I just wasn't wasn't sure when it was going to happen. Well, as soon as I saw this print, and listen, guys, the, the what is the Brooks? What is Brooks' motto? Uh, where is it? Run happy, run happy. We all well, let's run happy in this world, okay? Even if we have injuries like plantar fasciitis, like we can all, I think, garner a little positivity in our lives through maintaining as much as possible an optimistic outlook on the world that we live in, which, as we know, is challenging at times. So. Let's run happy, let's have fun. Remember, running is about having fun. Like, as much as we are striving for PRs and hitting goals with training, at the end of the day, if we're not having fun, if we're not happy in our running, well, you know, it's like, come on, like, what are we doing out here? What are we doing out here? So today, I was not, again, I was not exactly expecting to buy these shoes right now, but as soon as the ugly sweater edition hit the hit the shelves at Roadrunner Sports, shout out to them again, because they took care of me today. Um, I, I had to get them, I had to get them. So this is gonna be my initial first run impression on the shoe. I'm really excited to check out the DNA Amp midsole. Uh, I've heard, anyway, I've heard a lot of reviews and I'm going to give you my thoughts back at the house. Let's go three miles. By the way, I'm doing a three mile shakeout run today on pavement because tomorrow's race, come back for that, is going to be a pavement race. So my theory in, li in <laughs> my theory in life, my theory in running is to do your shakeout run on the same surface that you're racing on so that your legs and your feet and your overall body can just get ready for that feeling of running on grass 
on running on a Mondo track, on running on the roads, on running on, frankly, which is a different feeling, in my opinion, than concrete. Um, and even right over here to my right is a is a cinder track, an old dirt cinder track. So that's anyway, that's what I'm doing today. A little shake out three miles and then some strides in this parking lot once again on pavement just to get that turnover going. Does that make sense? Guys, run happy. Levitate twos, levitate twos. Interesting. I'm just gonna say interesting at, at this point. Okay, now I'm gonna hit some strides because I'm racing tomorrow. Get that turnover going. All right, let's go. Okay, the jingle bells, they're cute for about a quarter mile, then they get a little annoying. They might be good though if you want to scare away the bears. Just saying, just saying. Take them off, take them off. Oh man, wish I would have done that at the beginning. The big reveal with true love. I, we know you love true love on the vlog. Here Aww. she is. All right, hon. First of all, what's the company? Brooks. Brooks. I like all right. that BR. Here's true love's reaction to you know what. <laughs> They've already seen him. I don't know. Ugly Ugly sweater. Michael Zach, Ugly sweater. Please. They look fun. I, I love them so much. Look at those shoelaces. <laughs> here's, here's something. Yeah, that I'm actually gonna take those yeah, off. Yeah, that's they're very, annoying. Why. <laughs> very annoying. All right, that I was, love the bottom part too. That was True Love's reaction. I to, love them. To the Brooks. They're amazing. That was True Love's reaction. There goes, there goes Katie. Thank you, Katie, for getting me right. For getting me right on the PF side of things. In case you're a new subscriber, welcome. I am suffering currently from plantar fasciitis. A lot of you know that already, and it's very painful at times. But guess what? It's trending. You want to trend in the right direction. Two to three weeks ago, I thought I was going to have to stop running because it was so painful. Now, yesterday, didn't even feel it. Didn't even feel it. Today, I felt it a little bit. So we're trending correctly. Thank you, Katie, for helping me move in the right direction. And um, 2019 is going to be a good year if I maintenance and stick on top of my general health, not just running, but the flexibility, the stretching, the strength, the stability, the core strength, all of that adds up to good health. All right. Just uh, soaking next to, following your uh, instructions, Katie, I'm soaking next to my beautiful, ugly sweater, Brooks Levitate 2s.
Oh, baby. There it is. There it is. Okay. The PF is feeling good. We're feeling pretty good down there. We'll see how it feels in the morning for the race. And on that note, I got to go to bed pretty quick because the race starts in about nine hours. So I got to go. I got to go to bed as soon as possible. I'm going to keep my first impressions of the Brooks Levitate 2 Ugly Sweater Edition as concise as possible for you guys. Essentially, uh, here we go. I had this shoe on my radar and I realize it's not even Thanksgiving yet. All right, it's not even Thanksgiving yet. Let's not let's not forget about Thanksgiving. Essentially though, yes, the upper drew me in. I couldn't resist. I couldn't resist. It's just a fun shoe, an enjoyable shoe to look at, to run in. That is the bigger question, the more important question. Initially in the store today, I was pressing right here on the midsole. See that flex through the midsole? And in my mind, in the store at Roadrunner Sports today, I thought that as an analogy, I'll just I'll try and use this analogy for you guys. Memory foam on a on a bed, you know, me beds that are made out of memory foam where you push your hand into it and essentially it it makes an an impression of your hand. That was my hope for this midsole. Running in it today was not the case. Okay, even though the upper is very enjoyable to look at, it's pretty fun, you know, joyful and cheerful and, and jolly and all that good stuff. The midsole right now is is not, what, how's, how's the saying go? Today, I was only running at about 820 pace, 820 per mile. Maybe, maybe this shoe will feel better at 720 a mile or 630 a mile. I don't know. Right now, running slow, it didn't feel very good, but maybe I just need to get up on my toes a little bit more. So that's it, guys. That's I try to keep that concise for you. Essentially, I'm gonna give it a five out of 10 for my first impression. That's not good. That is not a good score. I don't know what, I'm not gonna sugarcoat a good looking shoe. It's a fun, joyful, cheerful, jolly, ho, ho, ho type of shoe, but that's just the upper. The actual midsole, very concerned. Okay, enough of that. Come back tomorrow. I will be racing in the Vaporfly. You better believe it, baby. Oh, I haven't worn this shoe in, I don't know, 10 days, maybe two weeks. So I'm excited to lace up again in this guy for a race tomorrow in City Park in Denver. If you uh, know what race is happening, come say hello. Look for the green hat. That'd be fun to connect. Almost forgot. I'm back. Almost forgot. Keyword of the day is... Sweater is sweater for an ugly sweater shoe right here. This guy essentially uh, guys Is this shoe worth the hype? It is for the upper. It is for the upper. I actually enjoyed running in the upper today It's fun to look at but more importantly this I, I enjoyed the upper However, it's gonna take a lot of work for this shoe to win me over through the midsole right now it's in the basement. It's in the basement. Not excited about this midsole. We'll see. It's just like a big plank of rubber. I don't get it. I don't get it. All right, guys. And the question of the day, are you racing this weekend? If so, what's the distance? Where are you racing? And uh, if you're not racing this weekend, will you be racing like, let's say a turkey trot or a jingle bell run? Let me know down in the comments. I'd appreciate it. And I will keep you posted on how tomorrow goes. And that is all folks. Excited for this guy. Excited for this guy. All right. Come back tomorrow. See how the race goes. I know you guys are interested in racing videos, racing recap videos. So that'll be tomorrow's vlog. I love you. Thanks for being here. Seek beauty. Work hard. Work hard. Come on. Come on. It's turkey trot season. We got to work hard out there and love each other. See you tomorrow. Bum, bum, bum. Mm. Or should I say, ho, ho, ho.